Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again, checking out the latest XFCE 4.12, 4.12. Let's get right to it. Now I'm running an MX14 installation here, um, uh, but I do have the latest X, uh, XFCE 4.12. Let's uh, take a look at what we got. So we're going to look at some window manager improvements. And one of the cool things, i got a couple apps open here. One of the cool things about uh, if you have the compositor enabled, is the alt tab switching routine so if I hit alt tab you can see we have pre full-size screen previews of each open app and it doesn't matter what desktop or what screen well matters what desktop but what screen they're on now you can't see it but I have two screens running right now and it goes to each one the leaf pad here is on a separate screen the other is not all right so that's a big change. You've also got a, a list mode view that you can enable in the window manager settings. Um, actually, it's in the tweak settings. If you say show the windows in a list, you get an alt tab list. Okay. And you can also, there's a, there's a it's all themable. It all picks up the GTK themes as it did before. Um, so that's pretty cool. You also got window snapping. Now I really like the window snapping. The window snapping in 4.10 worked reasonably well, but in my opinion this works better. You get both full screen, you get corners, and you get sides. Whoops, I went to the different screen. You can see it also is relatively intelligent that it knows when you get towards the screen and it will go over to the next screen and or desktop, but if you just hover just before the edge then you'll get the snapping effect. There is no snap to the bottom anymore. It used to snap horizontally across, eliminate that. I'll take it. I think the window snapping features are excellent. Now if you notice, the panel also has an intelligent hide feature. If you move over top of where the panel is, the panel will vanish. That's pretty cool, I guess. And if you're full screen with it on, you'll see it's not there, but if you come over to the edge, it pops back up. It's really kind of a neat feature, especially for those of you with uh, smaller size laptop screens. Those of you, me too. Um, let's take a look at the Display Settings app. The Display Settings show both monitors. You can actually drag this around and change the orientation, and it matters which way you take your mouse off the screen. If you'll notice, my mouse moves right off to the right. It's moving on to a second monitor that you can see here. Um, I'll put a photograph in the video here so you can see the monitor set up, but I do have um, another monitor running. It's got a different app on it, um, and it uh, it's running LeafPad right now with some things. It has a different wallpaper, which is kind of exciting. So this is pretty cool. This is a pretty nice item. You can click mirror display, and what you'd expect will happen. Both displays will change. I am not going to change the display because I'm going to ruin something with my video recording if I do. Okay, so that's the display app. We've also got a new desktop settings app that is really great. You're going to see this little line here that says move this dialog to the display you want to edit. All you have to do is drag this to whatever display you want and change the settings. I've got the MX wallpapers here on the screen. You can set whatever folder you want here by clicking the other uh, tab there. Excuse me. You can actually stretch this across both monitors. I think I didn't try that one but right now I have a different wallpaper on my second monitor versus the mon wallpaper on this monitor I have the light turbulence on the second screen right now kinda of boring because I can't show it to you but again if you look close in the photos you'll see it uh, the appearance dialog has some changes the appearance now shows you what colors a different theme has I'm not running a default uh, 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 MX theme right now. This is my custom desktop. It also shows you um, a, a preview of the icon themes. Pretty handy. I, uh, it, it, it's good to see. And also it changes immediately. Uh, everything changes immediately when you change the font. I'm going to change the gray bird here real quick. Now I've got my panel set to a particular color, so that's not going to change. But you can see this all changed right away. 
Okay. There's been some changes to Thunar. Uh, not as many as if you're coming from 4.10 like we had in the MX. There's a lot of bug fixes in Thunar. A lot of things are crashed. Uh, the big thing that the that the XFCE devs give for 4.12 is that it has tabs. We had tabs in MX14 before with 4.10, but 4.10 now has tabs, and that's 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 nice. It, tab, tabs are handy. They were working on a version with a split screen, but it turned out to be really buggy. So maybe for the next one, maybe that'll come along later. We also have a different properties dialog. If we click on properties. For a line, it gives us the total number of files in in a folder, for instance, and then a graphical display of the usage of the of the whatever item we're clicking on. I think this is this is really nice. Uh, also, it's not been typed, but Thunar, for whatever reason, used to use a thousand bytes equals a, you know used to use a thousand instead of a thousand twenty four. If you know what I'm saying about calculation of free space, so this is using what everyone else in the world uses uh, now. Um, got a new power management plug-in. The XFCE Power Manager's had some changes, and one of the things I like about it is you can display the brightness right on the app. It'll tell you your battery present your 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 battery, and it'll also allow you to switch into presentator modes, and also to get to the new power settings dialog. Now, the power setting dialog have a lot more control over what happens and when and how. Um, uh, it, it, it's a good app. Uh, so far, I haven't found any problems with it. Uh, you can see um, that it gives you some status on your battery here at the end on devices. This battery shot. My battery, this battery in this computer will not charge, so I'm uh, running on on a line in. Uh, it's it's done. This this line is this battery's outlived its usefulness. Whisker menu is currently supported. Uh, obviously, MX has had it for a while, but it's now officially a a, a plug-in for XFCE. Uh, and we also have, uh, I've seen a few folks talk about the terminal mode, the drop-down terminal mode for XFCE terminal. We, this actually works in um, in 4.10, but it's 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 made the announcement list on 4.10, and we also still have uh, tabs even in the drop-down window. You can have a tabbed tabbed uh, um, XFCE terminal in the drop-down mode. Pretty nice. I like it. Got a little stuff going on. Other things that are coming up, uh, XF Burn. I can't really show it to you because I don't have a Blu-ray player, but uh, Blu-ray burner. But it does support Blu-ray burning now. There's a new Task Manager UI. Let's take a look at the Task Manager. That shows all your running tasks. You can actually configure the columns up here in the settings. You can configure different columns. And yes, you can kill an app from this interface. I'm not going to kill an app right now, but you can do it. Shows CPU and memory usage. It's uh. Yeah, it's okay. I still I still prefer HTOP, um, uh, but uh, this is nice if you want a, an all the way graphical graphical uh, user manager. The screenshot app is uh, got an update to it that uh, is nice if you upload photos to to um, if you upload photos to uh, uh, to websites and things. It's got a uh, link to put it up on Imager now. I didn't have that before. So, you know, if you're uh, into posting your screenshots online, you can do that. There are a whole host of updated plugins. There's a new weather plugin. I did install it um, on this machine. Uh, some of the new plugins don't, there's a new Pulse Audio plugin, for instance, don't work on the Wheezy base right now uh, that MX14 is based on. Uh, hopefully in the future that'll work, and it'll work on the XF15, because 15 is going to be based on Jesse. Um, uh, so a lot of this work's been backported by the Mepis community repository team uh, to get the new XFCE on the old Debian base, so uh, or on the current stable Debian base, so kudos to them for getting that done. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forum.mxlinux.org. Stoffin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.